answer to question 3.2. We were given Tn, which is equal to 56. Tn is equal to 56. And then we need to determine our n. Record that the general equation for quadratic sequence has been determined in the previous question, which is Tn equal to minus n square plus 20n minus 19. That one has been calculated from the previous equation. So, therefore, we can now equate Tn equal to 56 minus n square plus 20n minus 19 equal to 56. In order to avoid this negative, it is advisable to move everything we have here in the left hand side to the right hand side in order to avoid the negative. So let us move it. It's still the same thing to move 56 to the other side. But let us avoid the negative and move everything we have at the left hand side to the right hand side. Now, we have n square minus 20n plus 19 plus 56, everything if you go to 0. So, which means everything I have at this side, I move you to the other side. Now, we have n square minus 20n plus 75 equal to 0. Now, we can factorize this one to get our n. Now, the, the prime factor of the 75 that will give us plus 75 and still give us negative 20 is 50 and 5. That is minus 50 and minus 5. Now, we are going to have n minus 15 into n minus 5 equal to 0. Our n is going to give us 5 or 15. So, which means T15 is going to give us 56. T5 is going to give us 56. Now, therefore, our n, our n is equal to 5 or 15. So we can still use another formula, which is, is a quadratic equation formula. Let us use quadratic equation formula now. Minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Recall that our a Our A is going to give us 1. Our B is minus 20. Our C is 75. Now, let us substitute for the formula above now. Minus, minus 20, plus or minus square root, minus 20 square, minus 4 into 1 into 75 divided by 2 into 1. We are going to have 20 plus or minus square root of 400 minus 300. Because 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 75 is 300. Divided by 2. This is going to give us 20 plus or minus Square root of 100 divided by 2. This is going to give us 20 plus or minus the square root of 100 is 10 divided by 2. Therefore, 20 plus 10 divided by 2 or 20 minus 10 divided by 2. Which is going to give us 30 divided by 2 or 10 divided by 2. 
Therefore, our n, our n is equal to 15 or 5. n is 15 or 5. So, we are having the same answer now. So, which means you can use the quadratic formula or you can still use the factorization method. So, this is the answer for question 3. Point two.